It is the ultimate stamp of approval. Beloved New Hampshire children's book author and illustrator, the late Tommy DePaola, honored with a forever stamp from the U.S. Postal Service. It features Tommy's artwork and the character from his most famous book series, Streganona, the grandma witch and her magic pasta pot. With each stamp program, we produce a uh, stamp pen that has the stamp art and uh, we hand them out at the first day of issues. Steve Monteith of the Postal Service says out of 30,000 nominations each year, only about 25 commemorative stamps are created. They highlight the best of America and Tommy's books connected with readers all over the world. Tommy's work contains layers of emotional meaning that appeal to readers of all ages. In a career spanning five decades, he wrote or illustrated more than 270 books. Just phenomenal. Tommy's books were the go-to for fun times. Those memories that I have with my kids and with Tommy's literature are the things that I live with every day. was unveiled at the Courier Museum of Art, where Tommy's spirit lives on. It's home to one of the largest collections of his illustrations. The museum also started a fund in his memory. The Tommy DePaula Art Education Fund sponsors thousands of students' free education here at the museum, through classes, through art camps, and through school tour programs. Tommy's two sisters and nieces were on hand for the unveiling and the exhibit celebrating his life's work. It's absolutely awesome, but um, I am not really surprised because he really had such a love in his heart for kids and art. I was totally blown away when I heard that he was going to get a forever stamp. That's like nothing you ever imagine. And um, just thinking about it, you know, and telling my friends, Tom, he's getting a what, you know? <laughs> Even Streganona was there for the big reveal. Tommy first drew her while teaching at Colby Sawyer College in New London. He was sitting in the back of a room doodling at a meeting, and that's where Streganona first came to life. Doodling, he created her head with a little kerchief. Over the years, Tommy received the nation's top awards for children's literature. I was amazed to find he was just like his books, bounding with joy, full of life, colorful as all get out, sometimes delightfully off color, uh, and exuberant to the point of exhaustion. <laughs> Former First Lady of New Hampshire, Dr. Susan Lynch, recalled what the artist always said was the best advice he got from his mentor. Anything you do has to be big enough to be on the side of a building and small enough to fit on a postage stamp. And now it is actually a postage stamp. I don't think he would have even ever dreamed that, that that was a possibility. And he was so good at connecting with people and, and connecting people together. This is called a first day cover. It's the stamp with a special cancellation issued this day here in Manchester. Stamp collectors traveled to the celebration of the stamp's release, including a couple from Philadelphia. The first day of issue was only from Manchester. So it really is, it's a birth certificate for that stamp. This stamp is so beautiful and it has such meaning for readers and art lovers and children. I mean, there's so many people who could just love this stamp. Yeah. It, it couldn't be missed. I think he would think, that's right, Straganona belongs on a stamp. <laughs> and she should be in every mailbox all across the country. I think he would think it was well-deserved and he'd be right. <laughs> he credits Straganona, of course, because <laughs> He credited her for a lot of things like building a swimming pool, et cetera, you know. And now he's probably sitting up there saying, this could be a good book series. Tommy travels the world through the stamps. <laughs> he's up there probably on chapter two already. <laughs>